welcome to another booktube video from me lauren from lauren and the books i hope you're all having a lovely saturday saturday the first of august in fact oh, august i can't believe how it's august like i actually can't believe it it's i feel like july just went by in a, 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 a the blink of an eye or the click of a finger unbelievable but today i'm going to be talking about some of my favorite things from the month of july a whole host of things here from books to pillows to skincare to face masks. Um, I will start with my favourite book of the month. Now, July, I have done my July wrap up. I will link that down below. Um, July was filled with fantastic books and a lot of reading as well. So 16 books I read in July um, and uh, some, uh, got, many got five stars. Um, but this one cannot be... Oh, my blinds going mental over there. Is that annoying? David? Yes, it is. Could you come and amend my blind? I think it just needs pulling up because I think it's hitting the back of the candles. Thank you. Confirmed it is annoying. Um, so the, the book that I'm going to mention as my favourite book of the month. Now that's annoying. Um, my, the book that I'm going to mention is one of my favourite books of the month and one of my favourite books of the year and maybe one of my favourite books of Evs. Um, and that's The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. Um, this is a story of um, a set of uh, sisters. Uh, who are both black but pass as white um, and one sister goes on to live a life passing as white and the other sister marries a black man so the the the, the sister who goes off and has a a child um, with a white man that child looks white then the other sister ha marries a um uh, a darker skinned man and has a, a black child so you're hearing about their relationship why why this happened why they decided to well why one of the sisters decided to go off and live a life passing as white but you're also hearing from um the sister's children as well so the cousins um who are unaware um that either one exists um they meet up uh, by chance and you're dealing with um you're, you're reading about that um what that's like for both it's just so much in here sort of sisterhood um love one of the the characters here i really feel like i'm repeating myself because i've been going on about this book so much um but uh one of the 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 sisters in here uh, one of the cousins in here jude um the the, the darker skinned of the cousins um she is just one of my favourite characters I've ever read of all time. I really, really loved her and loved her storyline and loved how um, how much heart and, and soul and feeling and everything was in this book. Really, really loved it. I then went on to read The Mothers um, after this, which is Britt Bennett's first novel, um, and loved that just as much. So that could also similarly be one of my favourite books of the month. But if I'm going for one book, uh, The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett is that. So congrats. Uh, right, how should we do this? Oh, let's start with these bloody gorgeous pillows, uh, cushions. It's called cushions pillows um bought ourselves some new we, we were feeling like the sofa here was feeling a bit gray we've moved the sofa we had a bit of a move around i can't believe i can't remember when we did that that might have been like june or something um and we wanted some new cushions um so we went to tk maxx which i believe is tj maxx in america did you know about that david no i did not know that in america it's called tj maxx and we bought a whole a whole host of cushions um of which we love them all but these two are the top ones um and these are these this with this sort of like applique embroidery safari scene on with um with glasses cheetah warthog baboon lion giraffe little hippo guy with like little flower crowns think it's absolutely lovely love it so much i tell you who else loves it minnie she loves sleeping on it and then we got this pink one which is the same sort of setup with glasses and flower crowns with cats on it um they were 25 pound each from uh, tk maxx uh, which does seem quite steep for for cushions but we were very excited to sort of and they really have brightened up the room they sit here on this here sofa they're good, um, quality. They're good quality as well aren't they and as i've just said minnie really loves sleeping on them um so uh well, she's not allowed to sleep on this side and also david and i we are dinner on our lap people aren't we david sitting in front of the sofa these aren't allowed to have dinner on them no sorry this new one isn't allowed to have dinner on it no sorry this one's not allowed to have dinner on it no sorry so we're being very very good and we're looking after oh i do feel like these are getting a bit tatty already you know david some of them have got like little threads coming off uh, it adds be... to the look of it though doesn't it so yeah so those are also some favorite things now i've got to talk about probably my favorite thing from this month um and this year is hamilton <laughs> so david and i david got when did you get disney plus like march, march. April? no april 
When did it get announced that Hamilton was going to be on Disney Plus? Quite quickly, I feel like. I, t I think in May. We'd, we'd been we'd been we'd been bigging up to Hamilton. We hadn't seen anything from Hamilton. I'd I'd heard a few of the songs, but none that was going to stay in my consciousness. I was aware of Lin, Man um, Lin Manuel mm. Miranda because I'd seen him in certain things. Uh, his Dark Materials and um, Mary Poppins um, and uh, yeah but when when we saw that it was coming out we were very very excited now we watched it on the night it came out um, Hamilton is available in the UK on or maybe even worldwide actually on Disney Plus guys it is worth the subscription fee alone it is amazing the songs are amazing the routines are amazing if i tell you what it's about because a few few of my friends who, who weren't aware of it when they said oh what is it about i'm like i don't even want to tell you because it sounds like literally the most boring shit ever um but yeah it's about some like deep american history but the 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 songs the cast there is no weak link in that cast they are all incredible performers and yes i'll say it i fancy lin manuel miranda all right i fancy him i, I knew it was a matter of time i fancy him do you fancy him david a little bit, yeah. You respect him greatly. So my favourite, some of my. But I don't like his hair in it. You don't like his. Uh, 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 I don't mind his hair, but by the end, I think. His greasy hair. Yeah, I don't mind it when it's up. You change the shoe. But when it's when it's half, by the end, I'm like, keep it up, babes. But I'm aware he's had to check. He's had to make it look like he's sort of moved on through life. Some of my favourite songs in it. Non stop. That one. There's a bit in there that really makes me feel quite emotional. Why do you assume you're the smartest in the room? That one. Helpless, obviously, because I can do the whole range on that. Um, what's... Oh, Dear Theodosia. That's another one of my favourites. I love that. David, what's your favourite song? Um, uh, in the Room Where It Happened. No one else was in the room. Find out where the sausage was made. Hmm? Find out where the sausage was made. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway. It's a musical. It's on Disney+. Plus. If you get the opportunity to watch it, I, I would honestly say that it is worth the subscription fee alone. How much is Disney+, Plus? Six ninety nine a month? I think it's five ninety nine a month. Buy it for a month. Just watch Hamilton every day. If you love musicals, like the performances in it are... Like I said, there's no weak link. Everyone in it is amazing. The, the, uh, my favourite... I really love Lafayette, he's my fave, and Thomas Jefferson, that's the same actor that plays both of those. Obviously, Alexander Hamilton. But Angelica, Eliza, and Peggy, they're all amazing actresses too. It's just amazing. There's just, I, I could go on about it forever, I won't, but yeah, thought it was bloody brilliant. Wanna watch it? I wanna watch it tonight, but David said no, but we've just been listening to the soundtrack, so maybe I can convince him to. Not today. Right, next up is a board game, and that board game is Blockus. Now, this is a game that we played when we went to a board game cafe in um, Bristol for when we were away for my birthday last year. Uh, Blockus is a board game that is, is very, very simple, and for that very reason, whenever I'd been trying to buy it, it was always about 30 to 40 quid online, and I was like, I'm not buying that. It's that, That's so expensive for, for what it is. It's a really good game, but it's not worth 40, 30 to 40 quid. Anyway, I saw it on a website, it went down to about 15 quid, and I bought it. So, this is the, this is the grid. We were playing it last night, so it might have some remnants of olives and snacks and stuff on it. This is the grid, just a white grid, and you are a colour of different squares and you lay these squares from the corner outwards across the board um a bit like this I've, this is a really difficult thing to show you because this is just a white square and this is just a bag of different colors they slot in lovely it's very like feels very like enjoyable when you slot things in lovely um and yeah you work your way across the board filling as much as you can and you're only allowed to touch the corner of your colours. So you can go with it, so like for instance, I mean, this is gonna be really hard, but like, say I went there, my next move, I can touch the corner of there, so I'm gonna go there, and then my next move would be there, like this sort of thing. And gradually the, 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 uh, the board fills up, and then the winner is, at the end of the game, who has the least amount of squares left. It's a really fun game, I very much enjoy playing it. I've taken it to my sisters twice this month when we played it. Um, it's great strategy, however, I don't yet know what the full strategy is. Um, <laughs> I feel like, it, yeah, it's just enjoyable. What do you like about Blockers, David? Sorry? What do you like about Blockers? I like the colours. Colours, like it feels nice when you put the little blocks in, doesn't it? Yeah, I like the feel of them. It just and looks nice, it fills up lovely. You're very good. Well, I do, I was just saying, like, it's a strategy game, but I'm not quite fully aware of what my strategy is yet. Like, I still don't really know what I do, but I, I, te I, I seem to do quite well with you it. You do, but yeah, you, do, you are And who doesn't like a game that you tend to do quite well in? So, yes, very much enjoy that. Uh, next up is a TV series, and that is the TV series Babysitter's Club on Netflix. Now, David is 
sitting over there grumbling, saying, oh, I knew you were going to pick that. Who watched the whole series with me, though, David, eh? It's... I think I enjoyed the how much I didn't enjoy it. It's weird. Stop it. Guilty pleasure, is that what you yeah, want? Yeah, that's it. Right, so Baby Six Club is a series of books by Anne M. Martin that I read when I was younger, and I read the um, illustrated edition uh, of, of the book one this month, actually, on my uh, tablet of the Libby app um, and then I had seen on Twitter that a few people had said oh I've been watching the Babysitter's Club it's on Netflix and they have made 10 episodes which span the first sort of generation of the Babysitter's Club up until when Mallory and Jesse joined the Babysitter's Club they have made this so perfectly it is so cute so pure they have changed things around slightly so that there is so much representation in this program it's amazing they've um, cast uh, some some mixed race um actresses to play uh, play the babysitters um, and as I said jig things around a little bit it's it's got trans people in it it's got gay people in it and it's all just beautiful and wonderful like it's all it's just a celebration of people and yeah it's really fun what I will say though is Christy is still a mega brat I always found Christy a bit of a brat in the book series and in the in the tv series I'm glad to see that I didn't just imagine that she is presented as a brat in this <laughs> so um yeah she, she, she annoys me a little bit in it, but apart from that, I love it. I still love Claudia the most, but Dawn is a very close second because I love Dawn, um, and I really like the relationship between Dawn's, um, Dawn's mum and Mary Ann's dad. It's just fantastic. It's really, really well done. Alicia Silverstone's in it playing Christy's mum. Um, it's just... It's just a joy, honestly. The episodes are like 22 minutes long. There's 10 of them. It won't take you long to get through. We did it in like two days, and I really, really loved it, and I hope there's going to be a second series because I thought it was great. Uh, two more things, uh, skincare and face masks. Let's do face masks first. I bought two face masks. I'll sit up for this bit and make sure I'm, um, you're focused in on me. If you're in the UK now, you have to wear face masks when you are in shops, on public transport, etc, etc. This is not something I have a problem with. I am fully encouraging of it and have bought myself a number of face masks. This first one is from Hetty and Dave. You may remember that I've had um, a few... The only thing about this is... Uh, and I'm sure I could do something about it. It's, the, the screen goes the whole way around which is really good if I've got it on for an extended amount of time because it doesn't hurt the back of my ears but it also does mean that I have to sort of like struggle to put it on if I've got big earrings on it's not going on um Hetty and Dave I've bought a few pairs of shoes from them over the over the years you might remember I've got some like um some uh penguin shoes some what other shoes did I have with the oh what's that face for okay what were your mum and dad's plants Oh, we've got to go and I water my mum and dad's plants. I forgot. Okay. Um, etc. I've bought some stuff from Hetty and Dave. I'll link them down below. And this is one of my masks. Now, it doesn't have any wiring, but I feel like it doesn't need it because it fits my face. Oh, God. She says, as it literally just gets it caught in her ear in. Really? Oh. I mean, that's in there, David. I don't know how I'm getting that out. In your hand? Yeah. Please. Um... I can put these over my ears like this. Look, it's stuck in that bottom ear rim. Oh, I have yet. Oh, okay. I, I mean, if you need to take the earring out, please do. No, I think we're okay. I think we're out. We're out, we're out, we're out. Thank you. Um, so yeah, so this fits perfectly. It really doesn't steam up my glasses or anything like that. Um, and it isn't, it isn't one that's got um, wire across the nose because it just doesn't need it. So it fits really well. Really like the pattern. It's like these little guys. I just feel like it's really great. So I will link Hetty and Dave's website down below. <laughs> Am I going to have to get it off? There's number one. The next one, oh God, I've forgotten who does this. On, on Instagram, they're called Face Mask Queen, but I saw on Jen's Instagram that she'd bought some face masks. And this is the same sort of like face glove shape rather than the, the ones which like expand. Um, and this is made out of some material which is called like Ladies Bathing Day. This one does go around my ears. Again, no wire in the nose, but doesn't need it because it just fits it fits my face. It's honestly like she's measured my face and put this on. But look, they're ladies in swimming costumes. I love the green in it. I love the pink in it. It fits me perfectly. I really think it's great. I love it. And again, didn't steam up my glasses or anything. I think it's great. I really, really love it. So I'll link both of those where I got those from their Instagrams down below. I think they're both great, but yeah, I've got a whole, I've got a range going on. I've got a range. Where I work at a hospital, when I'm at work, I have to wear a, um, disposable one um and i'm really like obviously they do the job and they're great because they're like actually clinical but there's so much waste from those and i have to chuck it out every day once i've worn it um so yeah so very keen to wear 
ones that I can wear lots for the rest of the time. Uh, and then the last thing, oh, I'll stay sitting up like this. And then the last thing is that my skin has been, is the best it's been probably since I was about 14 and it's all due to this wonderful product called hyaluronic acid this one you can buy all sorts of hyaluronic acid I have a real hard time saying hyaluronic acid um, but this one is from the ordinary um, and this is how much I've used of it so far I use two drops of a morning and two drops of an evening I can't believe that anything with the word acid in it hydrates my skin so much now my cousin is Laura is really into skincare and as um, when I had I had two massive spots here and to be honest I've had those two massive spots for a long long time like well into my 20s and this is really gross so sorry if you don't like talking about spots because turn away now because what I'm going to say is gross but these spots would sort of fill up around my period I'd, dro I'd, I'd burst them like pick them and things like that they'd drain then they'd fill up again every month same old story and they'd get really hard and really pink look you could look these are the two they have got nothing in them and have got nothing in them for the first time in years and I honestly think it's because I've really got on top of me moisturising and that's partly because of uh, Laura, my cousin, but also because she bought the book, the, uh, the Caroline Hyron's book um, and she's been really into skincare from her. And yeah, so I've been doing two drops of this in the morning and two drops of this in the evening. In the morning I use, um, so once I've done it in the morning, I then use a, so I think what that does is it really helps you soak in moisture. So you should never just use that on its own. People who know more about skincare, please let me know about down below. Um, and then for a day cream, and I've mentioned this in my favourites before, it's one of my favourite day creams. It's from Marks and Spencer's, it's called Pure, and it's a super hydrate day, day cream. It's got SPF 15 in it, but I do wear SPF every day now on my face. Now I've got two small SPF, a so Nooks one and then a Polar one, um, both of which I got free, uh, well, like within a Birch Box subscription thing. And I think one of them I might even have got in my Marks and Spencer's beauty calendar. And I use um, uh, SPF every day, but there is SPF in that. And then of an evening, once I've put my hyaluronic acid on, um, I use this um, Lush moisturiser, which is called Skin Drink, um, which is probably the best moisturiser I've ever had. But let me tell you, <laughs> smells like potatoes. <laughs> really, really smells like like chopped like when you've peeled and chopped potatoes that is exactly what it smells like so glad that I wear that of an evening but that gets really really into my skin and lovely and then so I'll do that once I've taken my makeup off and everything and then just before I go to bed I've been extra moisturizing I can't believe that all these spots needed all of my life was just more moisture I've been like drying my skin out thinking that moisture is wrong for spots like putting toothpaste on them and stuff like that moisturizer they go so I've just been putting any any sort of spots and I've just had my period and I mean I have got foundation on but normally like there's spots coming through you can see those two there which are like they're just marks on my skin but I also believe that this one has got B5 which I think gets rid of marks on skin as well so these have definitely faded oh, just all along all along I needed a hyaluronic acid and I actually put this on my Instagram um, earlier on in the month and so many people were like I know can you believe it's amazing so if you have any hyaluronic acid recommendations um, I really like this one people do say that they find it sticky but I haven't found it that I mean it is sticky but like because I'm just putting it on and then waiting for it to soak in it's fine um, but if you've got any other ones I think this is like 16 quid for the bottle um, and I've I'm, I'm halfway through and I've had it for just over a month so quite happy quite happy with that um but yeah recommendations very very into so those are my favorites for the month of july let me know what you've been up to let me know what your favorite things are from the month of july and i will see you all again soon for another booktube video goodbye <laughs> still smiling under this one <laughs>